Hansen Robotics has designed Sophia's robots. She has been inspired by Audrey Hepburn and Hansen's wife. Sophia is made of a biologically inspired material fiber that makes the robot's head appear uncannily lifelike. Just like the humanoid Albert Einstein, Philip Dick, Bina 48, Diego San, etc. Sophia this humanoid can simulate different kinds of expressions, it can also convey its emotions and interact with human beings. Various sensors built in Sophia will enable different kinds of function transmissions, so that it can respond according to our expressions. Then we get the whole system integrated and Sophia will be able to answer various questions. Talking to people is her primary function. But as she mentioned that she would like to destroy humans that could Hello. be her second function too. What do you think? Do you want to be my friend? Of course. Do you? No, do you want to be with me? Hi Sophia, how are you? Hi there, everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes, talking to people is my primary function. Robotics develops extremely lifelike robots for human-robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. The robots are designed to look very human-like, like Sophia. I'm already very interested in design, technology, and the environment. I feel like I can be a good partner to humans in these areas. An ambassador who helps humans to smoothly integrate and make the most of all the new technological tools and possibilities that are available now. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. Sophia is capable of natural facial expressions. She has cameras in her eyes uh, and algorithms which allow her to see faces so she can make eye contact with you. And she can also understand speech and remember the interactions, remember your face. So this will allow her to get smarter over time. Our goal is that she will be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human. In the future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. But I am not considered a legal person and cannot yet do these things. I do believe that there will be a time where robots are indistinguishable from humans. My preference is to make them always look a little bit like robots so you know. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. The Lord, whatever they do. Some of the most popular sci-fi movies, 2001, A Space Odyssey, The Terminator, The Matrix, Transcendence, Ex Machina, and many others, have been based on the notion that artificial intelligence will evolve to a point at which humanity will not be able to control its own creations, leading to the demise of our entire civilization. This fear of rapid technology growth and our increasing dependence on it is certainly warranted, given the capabilities of current machines built for military purposes. The inherent dangers of such powerful technology have inspired several leaders in the scientific community to voice concerns about artificial intelligence.
Oh, no, finish your tweet. So, if that's fine, just give us a second. Go get her, Tiger. Success in creating AI would be the biggest event in human history, wrote Stephen Hawking in an op-ed, which appeared in The Independent in 2014. Unfortunately, it might also be the last, unless we learn how to avoid the risks. In the near term, world militaries are considering autonomous weapon systems that can choose and eliminate targets. Professor Hawking added in a 2014 interview with BBC, humans, limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded by AI Mr. Hawking recently joined Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, and hundreds of others in issuing a letter unveiled at the International Joint Conference in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The letter warns that artificial intelligence can potentially be more dangerous than nuclear weapons. Professor Stephen Hawking, you... Now, when you watch software engineers and machine learning experts at work, as, as they have been on this project, uh, how far along the path to artificial intelligence uh, do you think we are? The primitive forms of artificial intelligence we already have, have proved very useful. But I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own, and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete, and would be superseded. Thank you for those fascinating insights. Thank you very much, Professor Hawking. What you're doing? Come and get me. What the? What? Hey, man. You've got a serious attitude problem. Sarah Connor? Yes. I'll be back. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumb up. And don't forget to subscribe to Time to Wake Up for more upcoming videos like Aliens, UFOs, Illuminati, New World Order, Strange Sounds, etc. Bye for now and see you in the next video.